Good morning to all my listeners. Once again, we are happy to say, and just in case you didn't know, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen and amen. I am Richard Hart, and I am from the Revival Time Assembly in San Fernando, Trinidad. The Revival Time Assembly is a member church of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the West Indies. It has been my happy privilege to bring forth the devotions for this week. I trust that you were blessed, encouraged, and challenged by them. Our scripture text was taken from Micah chapter 6 and verse 8, and the short form of it says, Be just, love kindness, walk humbly with the Lord your God. Our focus was on one aspect of that, love kindness. I said that we are to diligently practice kindness or compassion. When Jesus saw the crowds of people, he was moved with compassion by what he saw, by what he was seeing. What do you see when you walk, drive, or move around in your own community or in this city? The challenge to you and indeed to all of us is that the Lord would open our eyes that we would see and having seen be moved with compassion and motivated to do acts of kindness. You know, years ago we used to sing a song in church. Make me more like thee, Jesus make me more like thee. Give me a heart that's filled with love and make me more like Thee. That's our prayer today, that we would become more like Jesus. Have a heart that's filled with love and be moved with compassion and be motivated to do something about this. It was this heart cry, a, a, a cry to have a heart of love that impelled a group of people from RTA to start to minister to the dispossessed people in our immediate community and also to the wider San Fernando community. We have been ministering to the Waterfront children for more than 30 years and kudos must go out to all those that have been involved in every aspect of that ministry and to those that are currently involved. God sees and God knows. Kudos also to the folks who ministered to the dispossessed at the Waterfront Relief Center. Those ladies who would leave their homes at four in the morning and come from as far as Shogonas to come down to the facility to prepare meals. Those who would come down a little later to prepare the place to serve the meals. Those who would minister to the people. God bless you for your labor of love. It was this demonstrated love that caused a young woman to make her way down there after receiving some devastating news at the hospital. She had a hard life, one that was fraught with episodes of physical and sexual abuse. But she was determined to make her way through all those things. That day that she received that news, she found her way down to the Revival Time Assembly old building at the Waterfront Relief Center. And she came into contact with our our own dear sister Anne. She fell into her arms and began to sob and cry. Her story and the news came out haltingly between her subs. But, as she told me years later, the words that comforted her were, Don't worry, God is in control. She held on to those words then, and she still does. Whenever she is faced with a challenging situation, she remembers those words, Don't worry. She speaks to herself, Don't worry, God is in control. And let me add here now, 
that as a result of the ministry that she received at the Waterfront Relief Center, she is a saved and baptized member of our church. Praise the Lord. I want to give kudos also to the two ladies who would make themselves available to offer counseling and prayer at the center during the week. Week after week, they would be there, sitting patiently, praying for the city, praying for the needs of people. People would walk in off the street and come there for counseling and for prayer. During this week, I would have shared with you about two encounters that I had. First one with the man we called Yankee, and the other one with a lady by the name of Raj. Let me tell you, those two encounters affected me. They affected me greatly, and they still do. And they changed my mindset. You know, I also recently did a story about a person I mentioned a short while ago. And these meetings changed my mindset and reinforced that what you see isn't the whole story. I got to know these people and I was able to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with them. I was, I was encouraged and impelled to show the love of Jesus Christ to them. How many people are we seeing from a distance and having preconceived ideas about them? We need to take the time to get to know people, get to know them. You know, the acronym for our church, Revival Time Assembly, is RTA, Reach, Teach, anointed to worship and serve. Let me encourage you today. Let us reach. Do not be afraid. Do not be scared. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and direct you. It will open doors for us to teach. But we need to be sure that our lives match what we preach. Then, we would be anointed to serve wholeheartedly. Thank you for joining me this week. And I trust that what you heard this week has truly blessed and encouraged you and that it would motivate you to go out there and reach people. Go out there and love people. What does the Lord require of you? Be just, love kindness, and walk humbly with the Lord your God. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, O God, for blessing us, for keeping us. And Father, we pray, O God, that as we go out into the world today, that you would give us opportunity to share your word, share your love with someone today. In your name I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me this week. And God bless and keep you. Although I speak with tongues of men and of angels, Prophesy and understand all, although I have all faith, so mountains may be removed, and though I feed the poor and give up my life, if I have not charity. If love does not flow from me, I am nothing. Jesus, reduce me to love.